Hello and welcome. My name is Brian. I'm one of the pharmacists here at the Data Lab that brings you openprescribing.net. Today I'm going to be showing you how to group measures on our dashboards. It's exactly the same methodology on practice and CCG dashboards, so we'll take a quick look at one of the CCG dashboards now and how to group measures. Let's try Manchester CCG. So now you can see the homepage of the Manchester CCG dashboard. You can see our standard measures and our NHS England low priority measures here on the right hand side. And then below this, we have a series of clinical areas, um, which is effectively all our measures for that clinical area grouped into one place. So for example, let's look at antimicrobial stewardship. So clicking in here, we can see all the antimicrobial stewardship measures for Manchester CCG. So this might be really useful if there's a local group who uh, oversee antimicrobial stewardship in the area, or if you're a practice and you're doing a quality improvement audit around antimicrobial stewardship, you'd be able to track your progress here. So that's how you navigate from the home page. When you're in all our measures, you can select them here on the top right hand side of the page, and you can select any grouping. So for example, if you're the medication safety officer, in a local CCG or for a practice, you might want to look at all your medication safety measures and where there's potential room for improvement to reduce the risk of harm to patients. So that's our grouping measures function. We hope it's useful. Um, if you think it's useful or if you have any other suggestions first, please get in touch at us at feedback at openprescribing.net. That's feedback at openprescribing.net.